What's going on, adventurers? Hey, adventurers. Today we are coming to you from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and we are gonna be dining at the Dobbin House Tavern. So let's go. Come with us. Oh. It's starting <laughs> to snow. I see it. I do see it. On for 48 today. Well, maybe. <laughs> this is pretty. Jesus. Yeah, I did. Here are the streets of Gettysburg. It's George Washington. There's hardly anybody out today, probably because of the forecast. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But the fire is so delightful. Since there's no place to go. Take it. Let it snow, let it snow, <laughs> let it snow. You know, it's funny because anybody else can be doing something really ridiculous. <laughs> and if Lisa and I will do it, they won't, They're like the next week be a rule that says, Jen and Lisa, don't do that. No, they won't say our name. They'll just say, no longer allowed, but we put in the script. Jen and Lisa, we saw you doing it, so now it's not allowed. Happens all the time. Yeah, it really does happen a lot, apparently actually. So, apparently somebody's paying attention. Like the time I rollerbladed through a bank parking lot, actually they were closed. Then they made a rule in the town, no rollerblading in town, right? But anyway, that's another story. This is really weird. There's a name on this that says you're probably supposed to be here today. It's one of our signs that we go by. What is no. it? Yes. What does it say? Charlotte. What, who is Charlotte? My granny that I loved so much and she's no longer okay, with us. Okay, we see things like this in all over well, the place. she's with us. She's just not with us. She's with us. with us when she shows her name. Like, I mean, it's just really, who put Charlotte on a, whatever that is, utility meter? I think it's a pipe, yeah. Okay, right? What's the chances? Here is the store. And then right between the two buildings, back here is the entrance to the tavern. Flag is and then over here to the left, that is the Dobbin House restaurant. The one that's a little more upscale. But like I said, resort casual is fine. So, you know, you don't have to super spiff it up. So here is our Dobbin House Tavern menu. It's called the Spring House Tavern. I'm just gonna show you some of their offerings real quick. I'm not gonna show the drink menu right now, but just ask what drinks they have on offer because it does seem to change. Um, here are your appetizers, the uh, porridge of the day. I think I'm gonna try the uh, baked King's onion soup. It sounds delicious. It sounds like a, a French onion soup. Um, they have some nice appetizers there, and then also they have, um, looks like a, a pretty nice selection of salads as well. And they have this uh, salad and sandwich as well as the um, soup and salad on offer as well, so that's a nice option if you want to eat light. These are the specials of the tavern, and I'm thinking I might have to... I might have to cheat on my vegetarian diet and go for the filet. You guys know I'm a filet girl, so. Uh, but they do have a really nice selection. So we're gonna go ahead and order and we're gonna show you guys as the food comes out and we'll see you shortly. So Lisa got something called the Applejack, which is hot apple cider and 
Um, brandy, right? Brandy. She said brandy. apple flavor brandy. I've never had this before, so let's see. It's, it's warm. It's not piping. It's an apple inside. <laughs> Taste the apple cider and then you get the kick. <laughs> Good. I think this will warm me up. It's what, 30 degrees outside? This will be very warming today. Mm. Lisa's snatching my tea up. Is that unsweetened? It is. Some sugar? I gotta put some sugar. You got two packs there. <laughs> All right, so we are getting ready to go in on this baked King's onion soup. And here it is right here. It looks every bit of delicious, and Lisa's going to try it real quick for us. All right, she is going in on the soup. Try the cheese. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my gosh, really good. I love the cheese. It has to be piping. I don't know what kind of cheese this is. Is it a I know it's usually purple, but it's see, but I have to use my knife because the cheese is so thick. You have to eat it hot, which is a good thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. I didn't even get any of the bread yet. Let's go back for that bread. That's a fantastic onion soup right now. I think it's really good. Let me try a piece of bread. <laughs> it's a little bit on the salty side, but you know, French onion soup generally is. Um, I think the cheese adds to that. So we're going to try the bread now. And I got a little piece of beef in there. Excellent. So here is our salad and dinner roll that comes with our lunch. And I got the house-made blue cheese dressing. Lisa got the house-made vinaigrette. Looks pretty awesome. I'm about to check that out. All right, here is Lisa's delicious salmon. Baked potato. I get my salmon crispy. I got it. Uh, salmon with no seasoning, so I don't like a lot of seasoning. But it is crispy. Mm. Perfect. Just the way you like it? Mm hmm. And baked potato, butter, sour cream and butter. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Let's do this. Let's cut it here so you guys can see. Yeah, looks medium. Actually, this is a little more medium well, but that's cool. Maybe in the middle. <laughs> Excellent. And it's been a little bit of a little. It's been a little while since I've had a fillet. And I'm glad I decided to try one here because it's excellent. Let's see how it tastes with a little bite of mashed potatoes. I mean, a bite of baked potato. I love the sour cream with the chives on it. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. It really just it just adds to the flavor. Excellent. Highly recommended. So this filet is perfectly cooked. It is perfectly medium, as requested. I just wanted to show you guys that. So good. I think Lisa's Lisa's gonna call it a a day with this salmon. Uh, I get my lemon. I probably a little more than half of the baked potato and three quarters of the salmon. But it looks like the important thing is you got all the crispiness oh, off. Yes, the crispy is nice and important. <laughs> And you got your meat of your potato. And the meat of the potato. All right. So as long as as long as she got that. Yeah, that's a very good proportion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really cool. Salad plus we have soup. Cheers. And what are we gonna do for dessert? 
because they do have a famous dessert. I don't know how much I can eat of that. I'm gonna try it. I was listening to the table next door. Apparently they have a famous dessert here. So, stay tuned. So this will give you guys a, an idea about how long we've been here. We've kind of been taking our time, so this probably isn't usual. Um, but we've been here for a little while. We're just kind of taking it all in and enjoying ourselves, relaxing and getting into the ambiance of the of the tavern. We really weren't going to get into dessert this afternoon, but you know, for the sake of the vlog, like we thought you guys should see what they offer for dessert here. So we decided to go with their signature dessert, which is a gingerbread cake topped with lemon glaze. And apparently that was something that was very popular back for that time period. So we're gonna check it out, and you guys are gonna get to see it. And we'll let you know how it tastes. There's that gingerbread cake we promised you. Lisa's gonna go ahead and take the first bite now. I'm so full. Lisa's gonna go ahead and take the first bite. I'm having to Williamsburg. So apparently people compare this to Williamsburg. So let's see. It does smell good. Come on. <laughs> what do you think? Moist? Warm? If you have a lemon on there, it tastes a lot of lemon. Let me taste one without the lemon. I'll be right back. Maybe we should have got the lemon glaze on the side. Oh, it does taste like an old time horror cake, like a real homemade cake is what it tastes like to me. And it's not a whole lot of ginger, like bursting in the flavor, just mild. Mm. Good. I think I'm going to go ahead and take Lisa's advice and try it without the lemon first, just to see what it tastes like. So we're going to take a nice piece right here. We're going to bypass the lemon. Like a trick shot there. Here's the piece without the Here I'm going. Let me do it. It's a really pleasant flavor. It's true. It doesn't taste really Sorry, gingery. No. Um, but it's like a homemade from scratch type cake. It almost tastes like molasses. Molasses. That's it. You figured it out. Yeah, it's kind of like that's a what I would say. Um, that's it's it. It's not real strong like a spicy ginger. No. But I like it. It's a very good flavor. Um, that's what it is. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try a little bit with the. With it's the true because the old time gingerbread. That's probably what the secret is in that. All right, I'm gonna try this. That's piece what it is. It's just a little bit of lemon on it. I think yours probably has it. Maybe that's my because it's really interesting because the lemon tastes a lot like a lemon meringue without the meringue. Mm -hmm. It's just a really interesting two flavors to put together. Honestly, I think I personally would like it better if it was just like a sugar glaze. Yeah, sugar glaze. I don't know what you call it. Is it just a glaze? Yeah, glaze. Yeah, just like a plain glaze. Mm -hmm. like that would make me very happy. I think that would be excellent. Yeah, lemon's a little strong. The lemon's a little strong, and I'm thinking maybe it's just because that's how they did it back then. Just they, they should have. They should definitely add that option. Because mm -hmm. I would be all for that. Glaze. Choice of glaze. Choice of just glaze. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mine is blue. Good idea. Yeah. That's, I, that's my opinion on it. Alright, so in case anyone was wondering how much it was going to cost us, <laughs> here is the final tally. And it came out to seventy one fifty five, which isn't bad for everything that we got because we did get, uh, Lisa got the alcoholic beverage, of course I had my iced tea, um, the onion soup, and we both got the tossed salad which were included with our meal. Um, and then we had this, uh, Lisa had the salmon, I had the filet. And we shared the gingerbread cake. So, all in all, not bad at all. Alright, so this is what it looks like when you've just eaten pure culinary bliss and you're stuffed <laughs> to the gills and you're not able to get it out of your booth. Yeah, I'm just saying, good luck getting out of here. Okay, if this much room for you and your stomach to get out. That's how you know you've eaten too much. It's kind of like a test. You sit in a booth and then you, it's a good diet plan because you need to stop once the table hits your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even bother wearing your uh, baggy jeans. It's not going to work. No. You're stuck. And then I guess you have to sit here long enough so your stomach shrinks enough. Right. The problem is you'll probably have to go to the bathroom. Exactly. You won't be able to get out of the booth. <laughs> it's a 
trapped. <laughs> but the food is really good here. It's very good. And like I was saying, the gin, like, we've eaten places for that type of um, price. And the food is not nearly as excellent. So we definitely got our flavors worth, as I said. <laughs> well, now we come to the end of our dinner. Jen says. Guys, we've had a fantastic time here at the Dobbin House Tavern. If you're ever in the Gettysburg area, definitely swing by and check it out. As far as I know, they don't take reservations, but they do for the restaurant upstairs, which is also a fantastic meal. And I highly recommend it. It's a little bit more casual than the um, I'd say you don't have to super dress up, but like resort casual upstairs. Um, very enjoyable. They have really cool tables up there. They're actually called, um, it's called a bedroom where you dine upstairs. Um, there are several dining rooms, but I think they have two that are considered bedrooms. And they actually look like canopy beds when you're sitting at the table. Very, very cool. If you do want to make a reservation there, ask for one of those tables because it's really cool. You won't be disappointed. So we're definitely going to try to dine there sometime in the spring or summer, I would say. And we're going to request one of those tables. So we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Hey, what is at the end of every Disney ride? A gift shop. What is at the end of a very good restaurant? A gift shop, of course. Uh, we might surprise you guys and maybe find a gift shop. <laughs> it's always an adventure. Where's our Disney Magic Dining Band? Yeah, where's my, ma yeah, where's hey, my magic? Here. Oh, here. Here's your magic band. Does this work? Here's my magic band. Yeah. Here. Let's yes. see if that works. Let's maybe see if she, that works. Maybe she can scan that. Yeah, let's scan Raptor Adventure. Hashtag Raptor Adventure. Yeah, that might work. Let's try that. Maybe. Maybe one day. We've almost come to the end of the candle. Now here's the rule, just so you guys know. If the candle blows out before you leave, it's time to go. <laughs> They're just going to say, get on out of here. Because they are not going to replace the candle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Of course they'll replace the candle. Is that the next thing see? I'm gonna sit here while I can't get <laughs> See if they offer. Yeah. What's that? I doubt they'll offer to replace it. Yeah. Yeah. And let, I mean, I'm sure if you ask them to. I'm sure. <laughs> Just kidding. Like Lisa mentioned, where we're dining, um, they have a very nice gift shop in here. They have everything from fashion, whole Vera Bradley section here, to jams and honey butter, red raspberry preserves. Oh, they have drink mixes and different dressings. I hear apple butter barbecue sauce. That sounds really good. Over here they have a whole confectionery section. Delicious candies. Oh wow, these take you back. Got the wax bottles. Remember those from back in the day. Oh, look at this. Got the candy buttons. Oh, this is from Mr. Ed's. That's that elephant museum. We took we took you guys there back in the day. Like uh, last spring we went there. These are from there. Oh, these are so good. I'm gonna have to get these. I got these before. These are awesome. Flying saucers. These things are awesome. I'm gonna get me some of these today. They have like these little candy pebbles inside. Sugar pearls. They're called sugar pearls. Really cool. And if you're like me, used to pick the bananas out of the runs, you know, the runs candy that used to be able to get in the candy machines. I used to pick the bananas out of the runs. So you don't have to do that anymore. They have the whole bag of bananas now. I have some nice saw. Uh, recipe books here all kinds of cool stuff oh wow look at these these are some really cool measuring spoons 
They have dragonflies, and this one I think, those are poinsettias up there. That's awesome. Look at these grapes with the grape leaves. Very, very cool. Angels and butterflies. Oh, this is cool. Look at the arrow ones. They have a whole area of greeting cards. Oh my gosh, that bear is so cute. Look at that. Is that the cutest thing ever? It says, happy birthday. May all your dreams and wishes come true. That's adorable. This is a pretty little display here. Got the wreath and the ladder with the lights. Very, very cozy feeling in here. I always love these, the little wine holders. Look at that bear, isn't he adorable? And a little cardinal bird feeder. And of course, there's a nice flask if you need it. If you're in an entertaining, then this is where you need to be. Look at all these dips they have. This looks good. Ranch dip. Ooh, peaches and cream dip. That sounds interesting. I've never seen so many dips in my life. Very, very cool. Oh, look, you can make a cheese ball. That's awesome. Oh, what is this? You can make peppermint patties with this one. Look at that. What do you think? I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> what are we finding over here? Diffuser. This is so pretty. Look how pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah, pretty. And you put these oils in them. I was reading about it. Look at the fish over there. Where? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like a metal. That's cool. That is cool. They have some really cool stuff in here, including this. That. Oh, I remember you got those before. Guess where this is from? Look where this is from. Love You're gonna have a blast from the past. Look where it's from. <gasps> no way. Yes That's way. The Elephant Museum. That's true. It's right up the street. Hello. I'm a reindeer. I'm the only one left. Santa left me here to make you happy. You can take me home if you like for only. Oh, somebody was hiding behind that reindeer. <laughs> For only, you can take me home for only $21. So this was a nice gift shop express yeah. gift shop tour. Like a little bit of everything here. That reindeer is taking a nap. This is the Gettysburg section. All kinds of cool Gettysburg souvenirs. Hats and postcards and books. Everything that you ever wanted to know about Gettysburg is probably right here on these shelves. Is that Petunia? No. Is that Petunia? Oops. I don't think any of them look like her. Is that Petunia? Oops. No, it's the same one as the first no. one. <laughs> Lisa is um doing the ultimate try on of these glasses to make sure she so likes them. So I can them. read. <laughs> look, no MSG, no gluten, no wheat. That's and cool. It's cooking. And it comes with the little people. Yeah, that's a pretty good Now deal. the question is, will those ones make reindeer if you turn them upside down? No, I don't think so. That's a different design than maybe. Yeah. That's cute though. It is cute. Get it. Get it. We'll try them. We'll okay. do that. That'd be fun. You want to try it? Yeah, we'll do it. Oh my gosh, you have a guitar. What is that? What is that? I didn't see that one. Uh-oh. Is it an ornament? The everything spoon, tea bag holder, <gasps> one tablespoon measure. Okay, you need to get that. That's cool. You could measure a tablespoon or put your tea bag. That's cool. Let's get that. You want to get that yeah, one? Yeah, that's cool. Put your tea bag on there. Oh, look, guys, it's starting to snow. Is it really? Huh? Yeah. You see it? Mm hmm. Flurries. I don't know. But a flurry turns into a blizzard real quick up here. Look at this card. Oh, it's a little bear. Cuteness overload, right? I already showed them. Isn't that adorable? It's adorable. I want that and it's not even my birthday. It's like embossed. Like. 
Yeah. All right. Where's that going? Here. Ready? Yeah. Check out the weighted door. That's awesome. So this is the front of the store. And they have plenty of seating out here. Um, it's especially nice if you're waiting to be seated in the dining room. You can kind of come out here, check out the store a little bit, hang out. Or you can just relax a little bit in front of the fireplace, which is right beyond this door to your left. And if you're like Lisa and I, you'll come out with a Shopping bag therapy. full of fun stuff. Shopping therapy. Let's okay. see all the fun stuff that you got. Okay. Jen found some treats. Weirdest candy ever, but I'm telling you, something about it's so good. Some Awesome hand soap. Hopefully it smells good because you can't really smell it. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, then we have official gingerbread cookie mix because we were on the gingerbread theme today with dinner. So we're going to try that. Maybe we'll vlog that. Maybe. Get my readers. <laughs> you mean you didn't wear them out the store? And yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. And of course, my adorable guitar. That is so cool. Tea bag holder slash tablespoon measure. I think that a lot of good gifts. You know, if you need gifts, I'm serious. You could do really well in there for gifts. As well. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool you know, gift you ideas. Gifts for somebody. Especially if they want something Gettysburg themed. There's plenty of Gettysburg, Gettysburg and stuff in here. You know, fine. I, I really like that store. So. And she just ate that full dinner. It's amazing. How's your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> My stomach's good, actually. Must have been good food. I have plenty of energy. What is this handle for? Is that for tying up your horse, maybe? So we have a lot of really cool things going on in this in this video. So right here, of course, you know, you have the the red barn, which is awesome, and then you have here the stone building for the restaurant, and then the log cabin area right there, which is so cool, and then here it's just like a I guess you'd call that colonial style house. Yeah. The white one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, you kind of have like exciting structural things going on here in this video. And that's one of the really cool things about Gettysburg. I mean, we just love to, you know, we just love to travel everywhere and check things out and see all the excitement there is to offer wherever we go. I'm looking for guys in the Civil War. Oh. Sometimes they appear as reenactors. Do you want to tell the story about what happened that one time? Uh, so there we have a story about this. Apparently in this town, of course in Gettysburg they have what they call reenactors, which they dress like Civil War soldiers and they do reenactments. However, there's also stories of people dressed like reenactors that aren't really with us with us. So they come here and you'll think they're a real person, but maybe they disappear. So they well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> they're not dressed as reenactors, they are dressed yeah, from that time period. From the time period. But because there are reenactors all around Gettysburg, you assume that's a reenactor. That's the way. That's what she's trying right, to say. That's what I'm trying to okay. say. So, so, we went to dinner at one of the famous old, actually that building's wanted to um, Hornsworth House restaurant. And on the stairway before we went in, we saw a person that looked like a reenactor, older gentleman, gray beard, full, the full um, time period clothing. Regalia. Regalia. And we asked him, I think for directions or something about if the restaurant was open. And he was right at the foot of the step and he very politely said, yes, please enjoy something like enjoy your dinner. Or, and I'm not kidding you. I'm pretty sure we turned around. To say thank you. To say thank you. He was gone. No longer standing there. So I don't know that he was real. And we looked up and down the street and he wasn't anywhere to be seen. So, okay. Just. Yeah, that was a pretty crazy experience, but you know, you hear about that kind of stuff happening a lot here mm -hmm. in Gettysburg. I mean, it happens everywhere, I'm sure. Right. But specifically here, and dressed differently. there are so many ghost stories in this town. And we're going to have to come back to like the battlefields. Not, not just the battlefields. It's like all of Gettysburg is, you know, haunted. Um, there's a lot of paranormal activity here. So we're definitely going to check out some really cool places like that this spring and summer. And share it with you guys. Part. <laughs> yeah, we're walking to our car. <laughs> they didn't have any parking right here near the yeah, restaurant today. So there's plenty of parking in the, there's an alley right behind um, the Dobbin house. So that's where we parked today. And it's actually not that cold. I mean, they're calling for considerable snow, um, but it's really not that cold today. So it's tolerable. Always up for a good walk after a big meal like that, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> my knee's getting gradually better. So. Yeah, at least doing great Sorry with her knee. Limp, but it's, we're getting there. And so I went least, swimming today already. Yeah, she's already, I mean, she is putting in work to get this knee together. I was in the pool together. for an hour. She is putting in work. I'm so proud of her. I'm gonna so, keep so on adventuring. Proud. Nothing's stopping me. Is that a car behind us? <laughs> I, think, I think we're about to get run over. Nothing's stopping me. Boom. We're, we're playing a frogger right now with our lives. <laughs> Really pretty deer. I don't know what kind of deer they're different. Don't they look different? And their tails look longer. Yeah, it's like stubs. Mm hmm. Man, is that beautiful? Or what? That was so cool. We got to see some deer. I'm so excited. We love deer. Don't we? Yeah. I've never seen deer that look like that before. Usually they're just like all brown. Um, but this, these guys look different. If you guys know what kind of deer they are, let me know because we're kind of curious now.